Hello, welcome. This is New Vision TV. I am Ruth Naseje. As we continue to look at the Uganda matters, today we look at Mwanga, the king who killed them. As Christians prepare to celebrate matters there, which marks the 131st anniversary of the execution of St. Kaloliranga at Namgongo, the king who made it happen has since become one of the most vilified rulers of Uganda. New Vision TV takes you through the reign of Sekaba Kamanga II. Mwanga II became the 31st king of Buganda in 1884 at the tender age of 16, following the demise of his father, Mutesa I, who had invited the Christian missionaries to Buganda. While Mutesa had skillfully played the missionaries of different faiths against themselves, Mwanga sought to tempt them all and they ganged up with the British Empire builders to defeat him. The missionaries and the empire builders managed to infiltrate his palace and his closest ADs were converted. This infuriated Mwanga so much and accelerated his decision to execute the Christian converts. After executing the Christian converts between 1885 and 1886, Mwanga fought battles against colonial forces and was finally deposed in 1888. After some two puppet kings, the crafty Mwanga negotiated with the British and they sought to restore him to the throne in 1889 after he promised certain concessions. In 1890, he signed of some powers to the Imperial East African British Company. Pressure mounted on Mwanga and finally in 1894, he finally signed for Buganda to become a British protectorate. The independence of Wanga thus ended on the 27th of August, 1894, making Mwanga the last sovereign king of Buganda. Because he had signed away his king's autonomy under duress, Mwanga was still determined to fight off the colonialists and on 6th July, 1897, declared war on the British. He was defeated in two weeks and fled to Tanganyika, where he was arrested at Bukova and placed under detention. He was deposed from the throne in absentia. In 1898, the seasoned fighter that he was, Mwanga escaped from detention and put together a guerrilla army with which he attacked Buganda again. This time, the British deployed the notorious Maxim gun while Mwanga's troops only had single shot rifles. He was defeated again. In April 1899, he was captured with his fellow defeated king of Bunyoro, Omukama Kabalega. He was humiliated by colonial agents led by Semeka Kungulu and exiled to the Seychelles. The British, determined to keep Mwanga permanently out of Buganda, installed his son, a baby prince Chua, on the throne. In 1900, the British signed the famous 1900 agreement with the regents who were running the kingdom on behalf of the baby king. Under the agreement, they distributed all the land in Buganda between among its royals and powerful aristocratic families, leaving the bulk of it, the famous 9,000 square miles for the ordinary people. Sekabaka Daniel Basamla Keremwanga II died in 1903 in the Seychelles and his remains were finally brought back for burial at Kasubi in 1910. The Christian converts executed in 1885 to 1886 were to be made saints later while Mwanga was vilified as their killer. However, political revolutionaries praised Mwanga as a hero for his brave resistance to colonialism. You're still watching New Vision TV and in our daily Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at Sempire Hot Springs. Now, Sempire Hot Springs are commonly known as Semiliki Hot Springs because they are found in Semiliki National Park. The rate at which these hot springs boil up is more than the hot springs found in Chittagata. Unlike Chittagata Hot Springs, where many residents enjoy a cool bathroom, one cannot do the same here, but instead cook food. Sempire Hot Springs are located in Semiliki National Park in Bwamba County, one of the remote parts of Bundibuju District in the western part of Uganda. These hot springs are located in two places where one is referred to as the male and the other is the female. 
The male spring is known as Bitente, while the female spring is called Nyansimbi, which means the female ancestors. It is said to boil up to 103 degrees Celsius. The water is always bubbling up because of the high temperature and people cook from it. These eggs getting ready to be eaten are some of the kinds of food cooked here. For more Pile of Africa stories, visit www.newvision.co.ug. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your news updates on your mobile phone, on your desktop, on your tablet, and anywhere on the go by visiting our website at www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruth Naseje.